the fear of missing out or FOMO is something that I feel like everybody struggles with at some point in their life. And I wanted to share a concept that I found to be helpful for overcoming FOMO. And instead of just talking about it, I'm actually going to rap about it. So I'll rap for a minute and then talk right after that. So let's jump in. Let's take a second to set the scene. You walk into a movie theater, scan the room, and no one else is to be seen. As you take a seat, you take your phone out immediately. Now you're scrolling through your feed to get some dopamine. Your friends seem to be living a life that just seems more exciting. One of them went on a trip. Now he's posting that he's skydiving, feeling like you're missing out on everything. You're thinking I'm alone and watching a movie. It's discouraging. All of a sudden, the theater gets real quiet. Now you're curious and look up to see what the silence is implying. Sounds from previews of other movies are no longer present. Seeing messages to switch the mode on your phone to silent. But you're stubborn and don't listen. Losing concentration. Impulsively switching back to your phone within an instant. 20 minutes in, you look up and see the shot of the back of someone's head. Thinking it's a Hollywood celeb. But when they turn the face to the camera, it's someone that you recognize. Wait, does that mean? Now you're so surprised. This movie's about you and watching your life unfold. Where the scenes are so immersive, captivating to your soul. Now you watch yourself heading on a journey towards your goal. This is what we call the joy of missing out. Being present and fulfilled by everything you have around. But ironically, it's a concept you can't live without. Peace. All right. That was definitely not my best attempt at doing that. But basically, the idea that I wanted to talk about is this idea of watching a movie of your own life. So the goal here is to put yourself into the context of the situation. Like you're basically watching the current moment on a giant screen. And I picked an IMAX screen because, you know, it's very immersive. It's very large. That whole idea is that comparing that experience to the experience of yourself sitting in that movie theater and looking on your phone, it's just the magnitude is just not even on the same level, right? Like your own life is just so much more engaging compared to someone else's life that you're seeing on social media. So when you feel like these feelings of FOMO start creeping up, what you should do first that I found to be helpful, again, this is just my perspective, become aware of your thoughts in the present moment. So just realize, okay, I'm having these thoughts of like, you know, I could be doing something else right now. My friend's out there skydiving, which is what I talked about in my rap. You know, one of my friends just got married. One of them just like bought a house. Like there's so many different things that can be going on in your head, but just be aware that I'm in this movie theater and I'm watching my own life. Like I am experiencing the present moment right now. And then the the only thing that can even be like somewhat even better than this is like, Honestly, I can't even think of anything. Like, there's literally nothing that can be better than watching a movie on IMAX unless, like, you know, you're in, like, a 4D theater in, like, Universal Studios or something like that. But you get the point, right? And the second step is then to eliminate distractions. So this is either, like, turning off my phone, putting it on silent, like that warning message that shows up in movie theaters always tells you to do, or to, like, just close out of that social media app. Now, again, this is just a metaphor, but you could also be experiencing FOMO, like, maybe when you're out with your friends, like it doesn't have to necessarily be when you're on social media, but I just feel like that's like the most common example that I can think of when you do start to feel um, those feelings of FOMO kick in. And, you know, again, if you just get rid of that distraction, then you'll be on your way to like actually fully enjoying and finding fulfillment with it fulfillment within the current moment. So that the third step in this case would then just be fully immerse yourself in your own movie. Someone else's life is literally just their phone. I'm actually recording this on here. So that's why the, the audio is like, <laughs> it's like, it's um, going in and out. So their life is just like my phone. My life is like an IMAX movie theater screen. So that's how I've been able to overcome FOMO. And let me know what you think of this example. Maybe it's completely, you know, not helpful at all. If that's the case, let me know if it is also let me know. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I wanted to share. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.